What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Sal in the building. Shout out to everybody already in the chat room. People slowly coming in. Very difficult show to do today, ladies and gentlemen. We got a lot of issues going on in our country. I wasn't even sure. I wasn't even sure whether to, to go live, man, after what, what happened. But I understand we got to get to the money, man. We got to get to this money. Unfortunately for our fellow Americans who were uh, shot down cold-bloodedly, I might add, there in Vegas, uh, we, we still alive. And that means we still got bills to pay and we still got dreams to hopefully achieve. And uh, that's why I kind of had to, I had to come on. I had to come on because, you know, life goes on, unfortunately. Uh, but again, my prayers and well wishes for those family members out there in uh, Las Vegas, man. Yes, indeed. All right. People slowly coming into the chat room. Let me just go ahead and get it started here. Ann Buller, DPG, Relative 9696, Cool Cats, Mr. Maniac. Yes, indeed, man. Let me not take up too much time. Let's go ahead and get it started. Let people come in as we as we go on here. As we go on here. All right, as we go on here. Uh, if you're not already a member, uh, sign up, of course, to my mailing list, freestockpicks.org. Uh, I've got a video coming out later this evening after the show. And I'll break it here uh, live on my show. And I'll tell you this, because we're sending an email about it uh, tomorrow, that unfortunately, uh, you know, some of the footage from the police officers involved in this situation captured, were captured rather, on my, my next picks products. And this happens to be FPVD, ticker FPVD, Force Protection Video, which is where we're going to push tomorrow. Uh, shout out to everybody who, who, you know, follows my Twitter as well as my Instagram, Free Stock Picks. Uh, you knew the play for today was going to be CIIX, Oversold Play, Easy, you know, it just made sense. Uh, posted that yesterday, CIIX, tagged a whole bunch of other tickers. Uh, that was really the only thing I was on today was CIIX. Uh, jumping in the morning and it did what it did. But again, force protection videos to play for tomorrow. Emails will be out. And, uh, you know, the company is a very, very different company now than when I talked a lot of shit about it back when it was trading at a lot higher price. A lot higher price. What's going on, everybody? Slowly coming in. 05 Game Face, Ricky Sor Sorban or Sobrian. TJ the Great, Hollywood Studios, Random Stock Run, Stock Z. So let's go ahead and and, and get get into it. Um, man, I mean it's all over the news. I can't change the channel and see anything else on TV. It's all over the news. And as soon as it happened, I went straight to Alex Jones. I went straight to Alex Jones, and I've been watching Alex Jones, you know all day practically and of course he's into you already knew what he was going to say it's a you know it's a deep state you know thing and all that and it's just really interesting to see him kind of you know because he comes alive during these kind of situations you know what i mean he comes alive during these situations so i was pretty right last friday on some of the stocks that we knew were going to squeeze um, if you remember ITUS, although it ended the day in red, although it ended the day in red, it did get that beautiful morning squeeze that, you know, I felt was coming. I felt that was coming. Uh, in ITUS, here's that Friday move. So you got the morning uh, uh, squeeze and then it just fell apart. You had the morning squeeze. Well, actually, no, where, where is that? That's, that's today's move. There you go. This was, this was Friday. That morning squeeze and then it fell apart. Try to do it again today. I think tomorrow too, you might you might get pushed up there on tomorrow. 
Shout out to Billy Ray. Shout out to Billy Ray Wolf of Wall Street uh, is what he takes on Twitter. The guy made like $10,000 today on HMNY. He made another $16,000 today on, I think it was Izeal or Azeal or, or AZ something, something like of, of that rather. Obviously, he takes huge positions. I mean, this guy's, you know, he's not taking, you know, $4,000 positions here. You know what I mean? He takes huge, huge bets. So he wins big and he also takes huge losses. But that's just kind of how he plays. That's just kind of how he plays. What's going on, Lionheart? Overall, the market today, we continue the bull market run. Uh, you know, it's a slight move higher today. If we go back and look at the cues, it was a slight move higher today. Technology continued to lead the market higher. Let's go to the cues. All right. So we got the doji candlestick. I would call it's probably a long-legged doji. So a lot of indecision with today's move. Uh, you know, we got fooled out of what we thought was probably going to be a, a beginning of a correction last week. If you remember last week, we had a few red days uh, starting off the week before last week, excuse me. And then on Monday, uh, come to find out, the market bounced and what we thought would probably be a bull trap ended up becoming, uh, in hindsight now, was an opportunity to buy. Loaded up with the Apple calls and then unloaded them on Friday as well. All right. The pennies were doing good. A lot of penny stocks doing really good right now. A lot of penny stocks doing really good right now. Let me go ahead and turn my uh, Skype on. I'm sorry. I, I know my Skype isn't on. Let me turn my Skype on. All right. So let's start taking some calls from you guys. My apologies. My apologies. All right. All right. So I am live now on Skype. Just a second. All right. You guys already know the number. It is on the screen. 305-600-2896. And I don't doubt that this is Ken already calling. 845, what's yeah. up? <laughs> I'm always so eager. What can yes, I, say? I uh, see. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to mention to you, I, I was impressed with the follow-through uh, this morning on OWCP. Yeah, yeah, OWCP, again, this is a stock that I've talked about quite a number of times here on the show. I continue to let people know you have to watch this stock. Uh, the owners are, you know, individuals who they love hitting their, 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 their you know, shares for cash. And uh, they literally use this company as a, as a, as a breathing, living, breathing ATM, man. That's exactly what you're seeing here, and uh, OCW, OWCP now making uh, what looks to be a beautiful run here. Yeah, yeah. What do you think it can head to? Oh, well, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I mean, we, we've seen the stock go, you know, from back practically nothing to as high as three bucks. So, you know, I where, know, where this could go, I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. OWCP. Uh, very similar looking chart to maybe like a CIIX as well as RSII. Uh, so I, who knows? I mean, but it's uh, it's always good to see a marijuana stock uh, start running. There's nothing wrong with that. Definitely uh, going to um, a negative one, the ONCI. What what the hell happened there this morning? All right, man, that, <laughs> I went in it. Thank well, I mean, you know, it, it, it had a good run. It had a good run, and you know, uh, it's just I felt like. Uh, with that candlestick today, man, that's that's a huge, uh, you know, that's Look a huge volume. loss, and with the volume as well. Uh, but you know, it had to cover that gap eventually. But you know, at the same time, it had a really great run. I mean, it's been up there for almost 60 days in terms of the move from from August into the end of September. Uh, the stock is up well over, you know, well, well over 700 percent, I think, from. From That's August, right. uh, was that August first? So yep. you know, it, it, it made money. It made money for people who were patient, and you know, it was time for them to take their profits, and they did exactly that today. Um, earlier today, I sent you a link to some of the um, what's it called, the esports stocks. So we had talked about that last yeah. week. Um, did you have a chance to take a look at any of those? Yeah, I, I took a look at a I few. Mean, I still need to to do a little bit more. Which ones were you more comfortable with? Again, you know, I, I know you had already looked up AMLH. 
Uh, right. That one, I, I haven't seen it yet. I think the dilution, it might be a little bit too much there. Uh, yep. You brought up VRSSF. Let's see, I have the uh, VRSSF. That was, that was the one with de- half decent volume. The other two, the SPYR and the GMBL, really crappy volume. I, yeah, that's all yeah, I was listening on that that's, site. That's, that's why, I mean, out of all of them, you know, VRSSF is probably you know, the one that's only really running right now, but at the same time, it's kind of expensive, you know, but right. uh, I know everybody likes the cheaper stuff, so uh, I think another one you brought up, was that the Spy R? Let me see here. Yeah. Is that mm-hmm. Spy R, 32 cent stock, you know, yeah, they're pretty illiquid as well. No volume. Yeah, practically no volume. So, I mean, you know, maybe the word just has to get out there. I think be a little bit patient on these. You know, at the end of the day, the one everybody really loves to play is AMLH. But until that starts to have uh, buyers who want to hold, uh, then you know it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty impressive. Just changing the, the, the subject, the the, uh, the market is, is expanding out. You've got IWM, Russell 2000, any new highs? Material stocks are moving today. Um, the bank stocks keep moving, so yeah. like it seems like a healthy market. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yes. Uh, what started the uh, Russell 2000 pulling, which I got on the screen now, was the pullback about two, a week and a half ago. So all of a sudden, everybody was looking at the Russell 2000 as a possible opportunity to play something that hadn't really been been moving uh, along with the bull market. So uh, now we have the Russell doing just incredible numbers, uh, as you can see here with the whole month of September, and it's going to keep going higher, I think, and. Uh, you know, people are looking to move away from some of the large caps where they they figure valuations are a l- little bit high and now moving to some of these uh, small caps that, that, you know, have been uh, forgotten about. So uh, if you know how to play options, people listening out there, then I think IWM might be something you might want to take a look at. Very good. And one, one, just one more, the, uh, this gold stock I mentioned to you, NSRPF. Noble Resources. It, people are saying it's the next Brex, but it's actually a real company. They're a miner in Australia. I know it's you know five dollars ninety eight cents. It's going to seem expensive to people, but the float is only fifty three million shares, so it doesn't mean it can't double, triple from this level. I just put it on your watch list. Yeah, I saw. I, I marked this already because I saw it flagging, and I'm like, okay, we're looking for the breakout here. And sure enough, that three sixty. I missed the three sixty move on that one because. I, I, you know, any OTC stock that's tr- trading this this high, you know, you kind of tend to you're not sure about it. But then the float is very manageable. Uh, supposedly they have a legitimate business, and that's kind of what's driving this right now. So, right, uh, you know, enjoy the profits while you can. It's a stock that I did look at, missed opportunity. Now, in looking back on hindsight, the stock started below a dollar. And here we are, you know, again, if you were patient from July, the beginning of the summer to now at f- almost six dollars a share, you're up well over 600 percent on your money in, Unbelievable. in a matter of uh, 120 days. I mean, that, you, uh, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you can't do better than that. And uh, you can't. And w- one more thing, uh, Sal, the Bitcoins, I thought we were going to have a move today in Bitcoin because of the uh, Draghi speaking Sunday that he's not going to regulate it. But nothing really moved in Bitcoin. At least the BTCS, the BTS, BTSC, DIGA, they really didn't move today. Yeah, not at all. And I, I thought we would get a, a little bit more clarification. What was going on in China too with the whole Bitcoin ban? I don't know if that's legit or if it's just just talk right now. We also had Goldman Sachs come out today and say they're looking for opportunities to how to get into Bitcoin. Google that if you haven't looked at it. That's huge, huge news. So, wow. I mean, uh, Goldman Sachs coming out and saying that, that brings a lot of legitimacy uh, to this crypto. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we'll see what happens yeah. with it. I think it's a delayed reaction, but you're going to get okay. the move. It's just it didn't happen today, but you're going to get the move. Cool. Enjoy. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate it, Ken. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Ken for the call. Again, for those of you guys watching, interested in calling in with a ticker, 305-600-2896. I'm trying to go build it up my Patreon again. So shout out to the people who are already Patreon uh, subscribers. And if you can, subscribe. Only five bucks a month is what I'm asking for. Patreon.com slash finance. Support the show. And let me go look at what other tickers you guys have going for. Let me see. What are you guys looking at? Put some in a 
and the ticker that you guys are looking at right now uh rig rig yeah here's rig here's rig rig was a a, a stock that again was very very cheap traded you know in the pennies but they did reverse split to continue being listed on the exchanges uh you know i think you got to go back in a little bit in the chart to see that uh, nice move on rig obviously you know we, we know what happened to crude over the past year uh, but we had that nice little bounce uh, so far but looks like crude slipped though slipped over the weekend if i remember uh, let me go back to invest uh, oilprices.com or oilprice.com and i think we're i know we're not at 53 anymore i don't think where are we at on crude right now? Yeah, so we're at 50.45 on crude. Yeah, so last week I left you guys. We were at 53.10. We're down $3. They're going to start paying the price for that. If that if that falls under 50, I'm buying, I'm buying puts on everything oil right now. Everything oil, if we fall under 50, they're going to pay hard for all of these gains. They're, they're practically going to evaporate practically going to evaporate adam board what's up man all right let's go to the tickers in the chat room icad up 4.98 percent very low volume there man let me know what you see there adam very low volume there vicl vicl up six percent what was the news that brought in all that volume here we can see it very nicely here. It looks like it wasn't a stock that brought in a lot of attention, as you can see. All right. A lot of that real ugly movement in the chart. And all of a sudden here, you got a really nice uh, candlestick. A lot of weight on that, too. So as you can see here, a lot of day traders in VLC, VICL with today's move up only 6%. Only 6% on that move, though. But uh, what's the float on that? Because I figure... You know, stock that brings in that kind of volume typically would, would you know, especially when it's uh, hasn't seen that any time recently. You kind of go back to March to see that kind of volume. Uh, usually would move it a lot stronger than 16 cents. Move it a lot stronger than 16 cents. All right. Let me get this out the way. Let me... Uh uh, typing is a little small on that. Let me uh, get that bigger here so I can see a little bit better. See what the hell y'all talking about. All right. JAGX, you know, that's that Jaguar Animal Health, right? We're going to take a look at that in a second. Take a look at that in a second. Uh, what else you guys got going on? W H O A. Oh no! Oh, you're looking at the what happened in East Site today. Yeah, Nasdaq play East Site. Um, you know, huge, huge move. Uh, you know, look, Phase Three, Phase Three news. That's always big. You know, when I talk to you guys about how any kind of biotech that has to do with cancer is huge. Huge, huge, huge. Cancer, cancer, cancer news is always going to sell. That's bye-bye. A company comes out with phase anything. One, two, three. If it's got to do with cancer, that's automatic buy. Automatic. I've been trading way too long to, to, to not know that by now. You know. Beautiful move there on ECYT. I'm trying this new thing called black box stocks. Does anybody, I know Africa Emporium plays with it. I got to reach out to them about that. Uh, supposedly it's 75 bucks a month. I'm going to, might play with it tomorrow, but may, yeah, actually I don't have time for it tomorrow because we're going to be running uh, uh, the play on, on uh, force protection video. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, watch out for that email. Sign up again if you're not signed up to freestockpicks.org. Uh, we're running that that force protection video uh, again their products very products similar to them uh, were involved in that that unfortunate shooting in Vegas 
and law enforcement all across the country, because of the president we have, they're going to be doubling up on gear and other kind of services that law enforcement needs to, to protect us. So look out for FPVD tomorrow at historic lows. Oh boy, Pete, you got in touch with what CEO? Let me make sure I didn't get miss any tickers. What's going on, Legendary 8s? OPTT. Let's take a look at it. OPTT. Now, here's OPTT is an interesting company because they're the company out of Japan. Oh, no, no. They're not out of Japan. They have the they sold one of their generators. So, so basically what they have is a product that makes energy from ocean waves. Energy from ocean waves. So interesting play there. Oh, Africa Emporium, you just tried to call me. And it only rang like two times. So call me back, bro. Call me back. Or unless I just saw it. Bobby Miller, you said, are you uh, blocked? You can't watch live? No, sir. Nobody's blocked here. You can't be blocked from watching the show. You cannot be blocked from watching the show. All right, let me know what happened there on that. J-A-G-X. J-A-G-X. Oversold. Nice move there on that oversold. We didn't even take a look at that on Friday. Uh, excuse me, Thursday. Oh, that happened on Friday. That's why. Africa Emporium, what's up, bro? Hey, what's going on, brother Sam? What's going on to everyone in the chat? Uncle Jocelyn, there, power and profit to the guys. I Weird, I just caught on the show and um, you were speaking about Black Box and I, you know, I, was, I was getting some of the plays together to kind of, you know, bring it to the chat. Yes, indeed. And I'm uh, excited, man. You made the move. Right? Yeah, <laughs> right I, I, I'm, I'm planning on starting that uh, this week. Uh, what got you into that Black Box thing? I mean, it's a very, it's very affordable. I mean, for what looks like the software does. What I mean, what what uh, got you into it and, and what have your results been so far? Well, um, I, I knew some of the people that were obviously using the stock uh, from some of their, you know, I guess we would say affiliate and marketers. Mm -hmm. uh, and then some of them were um, like, you know, the uh, developers and so forth, software developers, and they worked actually within the site. Okay. So, you know, that was like, okay, well, you know, these people kind of hands on. I kept seeing, you know, the, the, you know, the results from the actual uh, application itself or the scanner how they were picking up on the, on the stocks like early in, into the trade. Uh, very user-friendly. You guys have probably seen the platform before through the um, the Discord room. I was posting some of the pics of it. Uh, and, and it was just pretty accurate, man. I've, I've used a few different scanners out there, obviously, in trade ideas and whatnot. But this one here is very, very user-friendly. Mm -hmm. And it gives you, it's the only one in the world, and I will say this, and it's not me pushing it, but once again, because I am the type of person, I like to work smart, not hard. Okay. But this one is the only one on the planet that has the real-time tick value after hours that collects news, that collects volume, and collects you know, the, uh, the volatility value. So you're seeing real-time. So when I posted that alert this evening about VICL, mm -hmm. we're talking like $2.70. Yeah. I caught that. You see what I'm saying? Now, if somebody else would have had to know that thought was moving, know something about it, it had been doing a lot of tons of research. You what know, it's on, on the scanner. Oh, VICL. I posted it in yeah. the back. That's okay. killing the after hours. VICL. Yeah. Victor, India. Uh, yep. Charlie and Lima. Yeah. That's going to be a big runner tomorrow. That and EYCT -E or ECTYT, -E -E whatever. It's, those are going to be major runners tomorrow still. I think EYCT still has some more continuation tomorrow, but this one here was got the, it was a phase two FDA approval yeah. contingent to that. The data comes out great with the phase two, uh, you know, results. Yeah. And they're actually having a press conference tomorrow at 12 noon to speak on the efficacy value of that phase two data. So it it just jumped up after hours and went bonkers. It ran up to like a high of three dollars and fifty nine cents after hours. Uh, and I got in right at that round like two seventy seven. Uh, and so, you know, this is just another opportunity we were talking about when we were speaking about these different platforms. So what I actually am trying to do, I'm speaking with one of the developers now with the company. We're trying to broker a deal with them so I can offer it possibly to people that are, you know, novice traders that don't necessarily have $75 to put up. 
they can get it at a more discounted price and come in on a group setting. Mm -hmm. So if three or four investors come in together like novice investors, that splits that price down, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, 15, you know, 20 bucks a piece or something like that, you know, or, li or less, and that's, which is and that's, great if you got a scanner like that. And that's through you or, or, or what? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to broker it through me. Okay. Um, obviously, you can go straight through there yourself and do it, you know. No, no, or, no. I mean, I mean, like, you got, I mean, if you're the plug for it, man, we, uh, you know, just send me the link and we put that out. You know what I mean? So. Right, right. And, and that's what I'm trying to do because I think it's a win-win for everybody because, you know, people have been seeing my results from it. You know, I was doing pretty good with, you know, before I got with them, obviously. But this cuts down your R&D and your due diligence by over half when it comes to after hours. When you're looking for those ones that are spiking on news, at the approvals because they're getting real time tick margin news and also uh, 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 movement, you know, say volatility movement and volume movement after hours, which is hard to get when you, you know, going through T, uh, TOS and, yeah. and the different other scanners out there. I'm sure you know, you know, because you've been trading for a while, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. This catches them right away. Not only does it alert them, but if um, actually doing a real time market, it gives you the bar entry prices. It shows you where the alert was at and then the applied move that possibility that, you know, you can. You know, get a certain value of our uh, gains from it after you know the stock has been alerted. Yeah. So, like I said, we had some people that have um, you know, kind of played with you know the idea of it, went in and did the, you know, the research on the YouTube, whatever. But it's a solid scanner, guy. I'm not, I'm not the one to sell nothing for nobody. I just know what has been working for me, and I can guarantee I've increased my accuracy maybe an additional seventeen percent since I've been using that scanner. True story. Um, oh. And like I said, it's user friendly. I'm sure you've seen the different pictures of it. It's very user friendly from the from the graphic user interface. Uh, easy to access, and you know, it has a post market scan, which is phenomenal. Like I say, pre market alert values and etc. And it also does OTC market. Wow, that's powerful. Yeah, <laughs> so it's able to, it picked up the ART. That's how I knew about ART. It picked it up the uh, ART move when it was at like uh, double zero two or something like that, double zero one something. It picked it up at double zero two or something like that, I believe. Wow, some odd number, and uh, I saw it. And obviously, I didn't play it at that moment because I was, you know, whatever. But yeah. and who knew that stock ran what three uh, thirteen thousand per shit? Yeah, incredible, absolutely incredible, absolutely incredible. So you know, it's worth it. You know, like I said, but if nothing else, um, like because I'm working on with the guy now to try to broker that deal. If we get that, then that's gonna be powerful. I think that's gonna help a lot of guys. You know, they want to come in and learn how to use a scanner and not necessarily have to go big bucks with the trade idea. It's a wrong trade idea. Trade ideas is phenomenal. Yeah. But it's just, you know, it's saving people money. That's what yeah, I'm all about. Yeah. I'm and, about and, saving it's, people it's, money. and it's a lot it's a lot deeper than a scanner. That's the only thing. I mean, most of these are scanners, yes. but this is a lot deeper than a, yes. a simple scanner. So with that said, man, thank you so much, Africa Emporia. I appreciate that. Unless you got some other uh, ticker you want us to look at before you get off the uh um, no more than the ones that are hot. Like I said, I learned it, VICL in the back chat. Uh, mm -hmm. People are excited about that. We know about the continuation with the uh, EYCT. I know you just spoke on that. Mm -hmm. um, definitely looking forward to that. Also, uh, HUSA. They got big news coming out tomorrow. Uh, the oil play. Yeah. HUSA. I don't know if you looked at that already. Yeah, absolutely. HUSA, we've been all over it. I've been telling you guys right now, it's a yeah. volatile stock. You need to be watching HUSA. So if this moves tomorrow, I will not be surprised because this is a stock that's had been missing and been MIA with all this oil action. So if this runs tomorrow, I won't be surprised. Yeah, so that's one to keep you on the watch. There's also, uh, we have, um, oh, man, what's the other one? Uh, oh, God, I was just talk, uh, thinking about it. Um, uh, uh, obviously, VSAW ran today. I'm sure you saw that. Mm -hmm. Um, it's starting to do its little correction thing, so yeah. I'm excited about that. Oh, one. absolutely, and, I, and that's um, why I got in it last week. Even though it went against me like four, a little well, it was like four or five cents. I knew it was going to come back. So with VSAR today right, right. up six percent, like I said, I think you, there's no doubt. Give it a couple of days, you'll find yourself within the three fifties, maybe even as high as four dollars. It is an oversold play. Just let it do its thing. Very much so. That's definitely so. That between that, CRMD. Um, you know, these are kind of one of them just putting out the top ones. I think that'll be, probably have some continuation tomorrow. Uh, CRMD, I don't know if you spoke on that one already, but that's one that obviously had news. Mm -hmm. uh, jumped up today, ran 32% or literally, literally 33%. Um, and it's up after hours. It hit a high of 74 cents after hours. Wow. Um, so that was also on the scanner that I picked up. So I posted the scanner actually in the back chat of all the winners after hours. So if you guys want to go into Discord after you get off the show, you can check out that uh, after hour scanner list and see what was actually picked up in the market if you want to do some research on these stocks. But other than that, like I said, I'm just excited about where we're at. 
Um, the show is growing. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the show, uh, you know, for you guys out there. Let's kind of get this uh, think tank building and growing and until we get the American investor back, right? <laughs> there it is, man. There it is. Thank you so much, African Porter. I appreciate you, say I keep up what you're doing, man. Yes, indeed, man. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I can't wait to go back to the old channel. I've actually been surprised at, at how so many of you, and again, I'm so grateful, so many of you guys coming here uh, to this channel and uh, already up close to, what, almost 1,000 subscribers here and, uh, you know, on this channel alone. And so many people watch the show, you know, in the mornings, during work, or, you know, whatever it is that they're doing, uh, who can't catch us live. But I, I can't wait to go back to the other channel, because it's been building and growing while we've been over here. People have been catching and watching the, some of the old shows and all that stuff. And you guys still got a lot of people who don't know I'm here. Like, I got a video over there saying, hey, I'm over here. But I, you'd be surprised on my emails. Like, Where are you, man? I can't wait till you come back. <laughs> wow. But uh, look out for that video on FPVD to come out tonight on that other channel. Uh, FPVD is the play tomorrow. All right. And again, shout out to people who went on uh, CIIX with us. CIIX with us. All right. Let's keep it moving. Uh, BW. BW. Back, uh, back to winning again. All right. BW. Back to winning again. Uh, we played this BW, remember, almost two, two weeks ago now. Uh, oversold play. I just wanted the green line, which is that 294 from 174, I believe, was the entry. We got 294, and I was out now uh, sitting at 356. See, if I had a little bit more patience, if I had a little bit more patience, I'd be sitting in there a lot more money. 356 right now on BW. Nice move. Nice move. Yeah, CRMD, we just looked that up. SPEX. SPEX, let me look at SPEX. All right. Yeah, SPEX, I, I pu I'm pulling that up because I know what it can do, and it's, it, it had an incredible summer way back here in July. So when you when you type that in, I'm always looking at SPEX uh, because we know what it can do. 8% uh, gain today on SPEX. I don't know what the move was on that one. looks like some unusual volume, but other than that, no no news. Yeah, seventy nine ninety seven a month. That's that's really cheap though. I mean, eighty dollars a month. Eighty dollars a month, dude. I mean, like your first trade pays for that. You know what I'm saying? Your first trade, real talk, kind of pays for that. G. G A H C. Global Arena Holdings. Global Arena Holdings, GAHC, former runner in the OTC side, hasn't done much uh, these last couple days, these last couple weeks. Hasn't done much. Okay. All right, yeah, get it done, African Poor. And when you do, then, you know, I'll post it up here in the chat room uh, during the show every time we start it. All right. Somebody brought up uh, AXON. Let's take a look at it. AXON, oversold play. Finally moving. We looked it up last week. Finally moving. All right. I, I, I ended up picking VSAR over this one because I figured VSAR was half the price. Very similar situations. Drug failures. Uh, both biotech companies. I just could get more shares of VSAR. Uh, but Axon, A-X-O-N, same situation. And, you know, look, you're going to get the same move here. You know, oversold, let the sellers do their thing, and now A-X-O-N, looks like buyers have finally taken control of the stock. You were at 656. 656 was your low. Was that 656? Maybe even lower. Six, six, yeah, maybe 640 uh, on Friday. Now you're at 739. All right, you're at 739. So almost up a dollar since last Friday. Morning of last Friday, or at least the low of last Friday, you're up over a dollar with uh, that 51 cent move today alone, up 7% AXON. I, you know, these these plays, I again, I've told you I don't like going long, but these plays take so much of the anxiety 
uh, of going long for me because, you know, just having to be in a situation where they're oversold and at a strong support with very little low risk, low downside risk anyway, uh, it takes a lot of that, that stress for me uh, watching them during the day because when, when it comes to going long, I have a tendency to, to have a lot of anxiety when I don't feel like it's not going my way and level two is looking all, you know, funny and stuff like that. And that comes from being that I short most of the time if I'm doing an intraday move. So you're in, you're out, whereas going long, it's very stressful for me. Dries? Oh, no. So look at somebody bringing up dries. Somebody bringing up dries. Oh, but dries putting up numbers today. Again, this is a stock I do not look at. I do not look at dries. But dries putting up some numbers today, up 12%. What, what's up with dries finding support? I, I, I put that to 201 here, and, and dries holding $2 like it's got some business to do. This is this is interesting to see that in dries. You know, dries is a stock that can't hold a dollar to save its life. But here we have... You know, since the month of, of August, uh, finding some life, man. Finding some life. Somebody bringing up Jivo. We talked about Jivo last week. Not looking so good, my man. Not looking so good. We talked about how Jivo, the renewable fuel play, uh, now the price of crude is falling. That's not a good sign for Jivo. You remember they sell renewable fuels. So the price of 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 uh, crude has to be high for Jivo to win. They sell an alternative to crude. So, you know, uh, these transportation companies that are going to want to reach out to a company like Jivo, the catalyst is that, you know, their most expensive uh you know, uh, what's what's the word for it? Uh, liability or uh, expense, excuse me, that's the word, expense, second to, you know, their human capital, their employees, uh, is, is going to be crude, right? It's going to be crude. So cheap crude doesn't do Jivo any favors. MRNS, let's take a look at it. Pharmaceutical play. All right, looking like one of those Tyson bat stocks, man. He talks about his two, two o'clock, one of those those two o'clock uh, patterns he likes. This is it looks exactly like one of those things he likes. He got the gap and everything. All right, looks very much like that. What's going on, Eban R, Lawrence Kane, Donzel Essex, Desert Edge, Josiah, Parker Mills. Let's take a look at BVTK. BVTK. Brave Tech Solutions. Brave Tech Solutions up 1%. BVTK. All right. BVTK looking for a reason to keep going here. Looking for a reason to keep going here. Had a great July. Had a, you know, great July. Beginning of the summer, but so far. Yes, indeed. Denzel, Denzel Bird, iPhone, I-F-O-N, let's pull it up, uh, 38 cents, all right, no no real movement there, let me know what the float is there, if the float is low and, and cheap, then, you know, sit and wait on it, you got support there, that's clear, you know, if you, unless you know some kind of news on that, RTNB's been halted, man, RTNB's been halted, Kenny Dutton, and it's the worst of the worst of the halts. They're basically asking for more information. And that practically means uh, RIP to people who are in uh, RTNB. All right. Everybody who shorted who's in there is excited as hell. But uh, if you're in RTNB right now, I can let you know uh, uh, it's not, you know, it's not looking good, man. You know, no nothing. Yeah. Come easy. Got to play this song for you, man. Real, real hard. You know. I try hard. It's, uh, but I guess I gotta try hard. Man. I try so hard. Try again next time, man. You know? Not saying that you're in it. I'm just letting you know. You know? Maybe next time, brother. Maybe next time. All right? 
But game over for that stock. BTCS. Let's take a look at it. BTCS. Uh, up 2%. Uh, Bitcoin stock. Now, this can run again. This is, I, I, you know, it's not even a can. It will run again. It will run again. This is, this is, you know, we talked about OWCP and how OWCP uh, was going to run again. BTCS is just another one. It's just another one of those plays. You already know there's no real... I think there's BT there's BTSC as well too, right? BTSC. Let's see BTSC. Uh, yeah, but I like BTCS better because it moves better. Uh, BTCS moves better. It's going to run again. It's not even an if. Uh, it's going to. You said you're in BT BCTS. BC is there's BCTS BCTS. I don't know a B. I know a BTCS. Oh, okay, okay. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, hey, Cali Rob, I'm just being honest, bro. You said you're mad about RTNB. Yeah, you know, that's that's actually not fair that that would happen to that stock, man. That's actually not fair. And, and you know, I got it marked here because it was perfectly timed to run. It was perfectly timed to run. It was doing all the right things. The very next day would have been, you know, incredible for the stock. Uh, that that 201 move was where it needed to be. It got exactly the 201 and it got halted. It got exactly the 201 and it got halted, which was the breakout from September what was that the 12th. So you started that day. It had an incredible morning. It was probably going to be a multiple day runner. And honestly, they didn't need to halt the stock. But, you know. They really didn't need to do it. And this is the soonest I've ever seen a stock get halted. You know, so there had to be something there that was, you know, went right. Because I, you know, again, I can show you stocks right now that are running on OTC side, companies that haven't submitted SEC documents for seven years that that are running, you know, and have ran. And they're not getting halted. I can show you companies that, that haven't touched an SEC document since, you know, early 2000s that are, you can buy them tomorrow. You can buy them tomorrow. You know? BITCF. So there had to be something else deeper there that, that, that was going on. BITCF, uh, another Bitcoin stock, foreign, this is a foreign stock. All right. Foreign stock that that had a beautiful man that beautiful move in August was incredible, bro. From forty cents a share to three dollars, that was just wow! What a move. Jeff, there with this uh, cannabis plays, yeah, cannabis looking good. But all of, all of them, I love OWCP. Out of all of them, I love OWCP. Uh, another one I think that's probably done now was uh, Buds. It had that incredible move, but Buds looks like it's 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 down and out now. Had it going down. Another one. Uh, it's a it's a cannabis stock. You know, I'm looking at it because that move is interesting. SRNA. It's a penny stock as well, but they're and oh and it's a marijuana play, but they're involved in the heating and cooling of marijuana. What I love about SRNA because it's actually a real company. You know, they have real products. They're putting out real things as well. RCHA, one of my old uh, pumps. RCHA. I told a lot of people about RCHA. They weren't patient enough to stay in it, but RCHA had a move a couple times uh, this summer. Now, all of a sudden, RCHA gapped up today, which is interesting. Uh, getting out of the uh, triple area. And boy, that, that your ticket got called if you're an RCHA. Your ticket got called if you're an RCHA. Nice move on that stock. RCHA. I think I called that a little bit early, but uh, nice move on that stock, man, to do that. Yeah, I think I would. I called it a little bit early at triple zero one, but hey, I mean, look where you at now. If you would have been a little bit patient, uh, we looked at Givo already. Let's take a look at SDRL. SDRL. 
C drill. All right. Uh, I thought it had to stay over 36 cents. Looks like we got just above it. Uh, but we failed it today. I mean, we got to as low as 33 cents today. But looks like the buyers committed above, again, that 36 cent support. It's got to stay up there. You know, that's scary that it got that low today. You actually opened up below the line at 32 cents. But I'm telling you right now, if you fail that again, you're going down to 26. You better be running out of there. You better be running out of there. You said SRNA was one of Treasure Hunter's old play. Man, I haven't spoken to Treasure Hunter in a while, man. I, I hope he's okay. I hope he's okay, man. You know, he used to be one of our most loyal listeners. Uh, you know, but I understand doing a show, people will come and go, and, you know, it is what it is. But uh hate to see my, my loyal listeners or loyal callers, uh, you know, because you, you don't know what happened to them. I hope, you know, at least give me a sign of life. I can understand if you're doing something else or you're too busy. But when some of y'all just disappear and, and I'm thinking, man, you know, is the brother still alive? You know? C-A-T-B? C-A-T-B? Yeah, I mean, what's her name? Uh, you guys might remember uh, a girl who used to be on the show, Stocks and Heels. She hits me up on, on Twitter or on uh, she follows me on Instagram, Free Stock Picks. And, you know, because she's running her little, uh, uh, and it's not little, by the way, her, her running her dealership. You know, flipping cars. She got a license to go to the uh, to the auctions. So she's doing her little flips and stuff like that. You know, she catches up once in a while. Hits me up with a ticker, what I think about it. You know what I mean? I understand she don't have time to maybe be able to catch the show. Yeah, at least some sign of life. CATB up 24% today. 5.4 million shares. The average is only 1.4. What, what brought all the news there? All right, looks like some news that came out on the 28th. Still driving a lot of volume to CATB. Up 24%. After a uh, some consolidation on Friday, uh, nice move with that uh, today. CATB, yeah. Pharmaceuticals have been enjoying uh, a lot of a lot of green, a lot of green on these pharmaceuticals. Yeah. O T T V. Is that running again or no? Okay, nope. OTTV is just not going to happen. Here's the thing about OTTV, man, because I know th the thing about OTTV is like they're fronting like they want to be successful and they really don't. That's, you know, I, I've said that too much. I don't want to sh continue to shit on the company, but, you know, they, they it's just a printing press for shares. Uh, MJTK, MJTK, 0009. Down 10%. If you're looking for a good triple zero nine stock, you got to go with CDII. If you're going to go that, uh, if I don't know, you're probably looking at the industry, but CDII is, is what I was looking for. But it keeps coming back down to these uh, triple nines. Keeps coming down, coming. So we got to, you know, it's got to break through this, that double O sixteen. I think once it breaks double O sixteen, it could run. Uh, but it's, until until then, I think the values is, is in these triple. Uh, zero nines, but we'll see what happens. But it's interesting to see that kind of build uh, a little bit of momentum day after day. We'll see what happens. But I'm watching that stock. Uh, CYCC, CYCC, Cyclical. Don't know much about it. Don't know much about it here. All right, don't know much about this one. Uh, every time I somebody brings that up, I always think about that Chinese place, CCH or CCIH. I always think about CCIH, the little China Care or China, China International or something like that. Which it's another IT type company, but low volume right now. But it can run. Yeah, C CYCC can run though. CYCC can run. C I S I G 
SING single point OTC stock. Yeah, decent volume. It's got a lot of good volume on this one. Uh, 2.3 million shares traded. They were on Money TV, looks like, this weekend with uh, Donald Belt Balligren. By the way, follow Money Money TV on, on YouTube as well, too. I mean, it's a nice little show uh, on penny stocks that is syndicated, typically like Sunday mornings and like low-budget local channels. Uh, I've been trying to get on a show like that. Money TV. Also, go look up uh, another one, Red Chip. Red Chip is also another uh, one of those syndicated OTC shows. Uh, it's kind of old-fashioned way to do things. I think the online is the, really the future, and that's kind of why I'm doing this. The future of moving pennies and creating the liquidity that the market needs. I don't know if TV can do that anymore because it's just so, you're so, you know, it's, it's saturated with so much other content and also, the, you know, the kind of people you meet on there. Uh you know, I don't think you really meet people who want those kind of companies. What's going on, Andrew? What's going on, Stock God? ADXS. 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 $4.48. Oversold. Nice move up 7%. Yeah, we looked at this last week. We looked at this last week. Nice. I like, I, you know, I, of course I would have loved if it was, you know, if there was a big-ass gap instead of the an actual filled, you know, candlestick with a long shadow, you know. And this one didn't even have. This was just a pure sell-off. Uh, but with that being said, I mean, you know, you're still 38. But, I, I you know, if you're going to, Buy ADXS. Why don't you just go buy VS VSAR? You know, if you if you really gonna do that, go get the one with the better volume and the better upside. Again, VSAR. You know, if you're gonna go that route, you get it for half the price, more volume, and better upside. Uh, VRSSF. This is the uh, esports company. We just got done talking to Ken about this about an hour ago or 30, 30 minutes ago, whatever. Uh, the, the volume hasn't got in yet, but it's building, as you can see here. It's building, but, you know, at 52 cents a share, you know, supposedly they're a real company. They're a real company, so I, I can't say much about them. But I love that that news that came out with the whole Amazon executive that I'm glancing at right now. Looks like they brought they brought on. Is it a former Amazon executive or is somebody with Amazon now? Head of startup marketing for Amazon Web. Oh, so he still works at Amazon. Okay. He still works at Amazon. And he's been brought on to their advisory board. Okay, that's what's up, man. You got somebody who's inside at Amazon. On the company board, that looks good. That looks good. That's good for them. Very good for them. Yes, indeed. Let's look at some other plays. DXCM. Dexcom. Oh, wow, okay. So somebody got some money in here going big on B, uh, this Dexcom. DXCM, $49 stock. $49 stock. Go heavy on this one, man. If you wanted to make some money for you. As I say over and over again, trading is about scale. Uh, one company I looked at, I wish if anybody can let me know some news on this. iPass. Love how it's filling the gap here. Uh, let me know a little bit about iPass. I see that they're a Wi-Fi thing. Uh, I do know the little research I was able to do before the show. They are available in hotels. Uh, I know they they do business with Red Roof Inn. I don't know if they do it any with anyone else. Again, yeah, didn't have too much time to really look into the company, but uh, supposedly they have Wi-Fi service or provide Wi-Fi services. At hotels, airports, 
and you know other businesses all right i pass love how it's filling up the gap here uh can we get 90 cents tomorrow looks like you touched almost 90 cents today all right with that with that shadow up there uh your high of the day was 89 cents uh 2.7 million shares traded today on ipass yeah look at that uh, let me see if we got any other familiar plays uh interesting to see nete still hanging up there man nete Still hanging up there doing decent. I mean, it, it was a stock that many of you guys in the chat room liked a couple days ago, but I haven't seen too many people bring it up. In fact, nobody brought it up today. Poker Pro, you said you told me about iPass? IPG. IPG. Don't know anything about interpublic group of companies. Don't know anything about it. Nice volume, though. Not the cheapest stock in the world, though, man. Not the cheapest stock in the world. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, very bullish on VSAR. Very, very bullish on VSAR. Very bullish on that. Uh, SANP. Oh, not that one. SANP. SANP Santo Mining Group. Derek Graham. Nice volume coming in on that one today. SANP. Triple zero one stock. Uh, now triple zero three. All right, let's see if you can if you can find people to commit to those. Now that they're in, hold those shares. Hold those shares. I've said it over and over. That's the biggest problem getting out of the triples, man, is people don't want to hold. You know, they go triple zero one, triple zero three. Oh, shit, I'm up 300% sell. And you can't overwhelm those sellers, man. You got to you gotta find longs who understand the long picture. You know, fuck 300%, bro. Hold on to your shares. Let's get 1,100. Let's get 1,200%. You know, let's go from triple zero one to, to double 020. Let's get 2,000% on our money. Let's walk out of this stock with with seven grand, eight grand, on on a on a two hundred dollar, three hundred dollar investment. But if you don't have longs who who can think like that, I mean, it is what it is. You know, Ecos, E C O S, Echo Lab Solutions, E C O S, triple zero two, triple zero two stock. 40 million shares. All right. That's why you're holding DOLV. I mean, that's how it is, man. That, you, that's how you make money. You said, Sal, the stock keeps diluting. How can anyone hold? Well, that's if the stock keeps diluting, though. You got to, that's why you got to read the filings and see if, if, you know, they're still handing out shares for, you know, for crumbs, if that's still happening, then yeah. But you got to understand there are many companies that don't do that. There are companies out there that are sh sitting out at those and don't don't have any interest in diluting any any shares. Because that's how they go from triple zero one to double oh something. OTIC. OTIC, man, that one's been dragging for a long time. OTT, OTIC has got to make the move here sooner or later. I mean, let's 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 see a, a a candlestick worth worth noting. Kenny Dutton, you said if they believe in the in the product, they'll certainly hold. Absolutely, absolutely. We watched right here on the show uh, last year. Uh, DTII, we watched this stock, triple zero one stock. It was a triple zero one stock. We watched it. Right here from the show. You know. It did its thing. Came all the way back. Now it's at 0043. So, you know, these stocks do run. Mm -hmm. 
but again, it's just you know they gotta like like you said believe in the in, in the company and their products and their potential. Uh, let me see some of these uh, oil plays. Some of these oil plays are gonna start giving back gains here. DNR, uh, you said it had to commit. As you see here, it tested that 127 uh, with today's low. Very interesting to see that man again. Oil's coming back down. DNR could can end up losing that support, especially if we go back below 50 cents or $50 a barrel. Game over for DNR. I think you're probably going to be coming back to the 110s, 105s. You got about 30 cents. It could very well lose there. Kenny Dutton said you're still holding DTII. You know, comp stocks like that. I, I I never wish bad on on this country or anything like that. Well, maybe I have in the past, but I think war, war is one of those things that unfortunately people do profit off of, and that would probably is going to be what is going to take to see DTII just go from you know this tripled or double zero whatever it is now to you know a 30 40 50 cent stock you know what I'm saying it's a defense stock absolutely it's a defense stock and they've got some contracts in the past too I mean sure the contracts you know they put out they're not the same level that gets put out by Boeing or anything, but they they got some contracts. Again, pay attention tomorrow. Force protection video, FPVD is the ticker. At historic lows with now historic upside. ZN, ZN is the ticker on the screen right now. We had Africa Emporium call up. He said the 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 move tomorrow on oil and gas, it's HUSA. He said supposedly there's going to be some news tomorrow. Watch what that happens. Watch what the hell happens. We'll see. Yeah, the world is fucked up, but I got to make I got to make money. Exactly, Kelly Rob. You know, the stock to, that I'm going to put out tomorrow, the video I'm going to put out tonight is real fucked up. Talking about force protection video. FPVD. I know I'm gonna get some emails. Oh, you're disgusting. I can't believe you're 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 taking advantage of the situation in Vegas. But uh, look, unfortunately, you know, for them, you know, their 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 time to hustle is is over, you know, and rest in eternity for those people. But I'm still alive. I still got bills to pay. I still got dreams. So I got to keep hustling, man. I got to keep hustling. Take a look at the the daily, the weekly, the monthly, whatever you want to take a look at. Force protection video. Historic lows. All right. Historic lows. is ready to take off. It's ready to take off. FPVD. Watch for the email. Freestockpicks.org is my website. Sign up today. Yeah. What's indeed, man? I didn't. I didn't. You know, I didn't make this system. I just live here. Endv. Oh, let me just look at Endv. Endv. In Endo Novo Therapeutics up nine percent. Tell me what the story is here. OTC Biotechs. I love OTC biotech stocks. You know what? Man, I want to tell you guys about that biotech play so bad. Oh, man, it's killing me that I want to tell you guys about that, that company so bad. But I don't know why I can't get no fucking shares of this shit, man. I got an order sitting in it right now. And it's not illiquid. I just don't like the price that they... I, I don't like, you know, I'm looking at the, the, the level two, right? And I see the, I see an order I can I can get some shares at but what i'm trying to do is is hold the is, is to find somebody willing to you know say you know what fuck it i want out and and hit me at that lower price and then i'm gonna tell you motherfuckers about it you know what i'm saying Shit. you know what i mean i gotta feed myself you know what i'm saying and y'all ain't donating so shit 
But I'm telling you right now, this that biotech play I'm talking about right now, man. I'm I'm one thousand percent is 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 probably lowballing the potential this that stock has. I'm probably lowballing when I say one thousand percent return. But I'm not. But look, when it comes out, you you see for yourself. Because I know all you guys, oh, Sal, you're just, oh, God, yeah. you're just, oh, you're just hyping it up. Okay, well, all right, you'll see it. When you start reading those filings and you start reading what this, what this guy has done, you'll come to the same conclusion. You'll come to the same conclusion. All right, let's get back into these tickers, man. Uh, uh, let me see here. WTI, yeah. Y'all remember WTI from last week? WTI. Like the rebound. I saw it sell off. I don't have a Friday show. I saw it sell off on Friday. I thought about going short, but I was like, uh-uh. We're still over 50. We're still over 50. Sure enough. Look what happened today on WTI. I think we had a morning squeeze on that one. Didn't check it out in the morning. Let's see the chart in the morning. WTI, so not necessarily a squeeze, but uh, so had a slight sell-off in the morning, but again, pop, people saw it as a dip-by opportunity here on the five-minute chart. Beautiful chart. That's a nice little morning chart. Uh, that's a nice day chart for WTI. All right. Opening up the day at 289, closing at 321. That's a nice trade. WTI, overwhelming, you know, any kind of idea for shorters to come in here and WTI. And uh, so holding off a collapse of those gains for at least another day. I think tomorrow you probably end up back in the twos, especially if uh, crude continues to its slide right now. Uh, and we unfortunately fall under 50. But uh, WTI is still holding on. Still holding on. Hell no, Andrew. I see what you're trying to do. You said, can I put the ticker to Discord? I'm telling you, man, when, when you see this, when you see this, you're going to come to the same conclusion, bro. And I'm not talking no, like, you know, this is this ain't no triple zero one or triple zero two. It's not none of that shit, man. You know, this ain't this ain't one of those type of plays, bro. But it ain't in a in a dollar, two dollar either. It's just one of those stocks that's like sitting there, you know, they're putting out, you know, they got beautiful website, they got, you know, you'll see. Phil <laughs> Nope. Nope, 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 nope. All right, let's let's go back to these stickers, because I talk too much and I might slip up and say the shit before I even Get some damn shares, my damn self. Uh, AUPH, AUPH, AUPH is a. Uh, we know it's a runner. I'm watching it. I like the move it did today. Uh, here's AUPH with today's move. Uh, you know, not much I can say about this man. I mean, AUPH, forty four cent move today. Uh, it, it, you know, it's, it's been a while since we've seen this, this stock do some real things. You know, if you got to go back all the way to the beginning of the year, uh, March, we were really excited about it because a lot of guys made money, including me on this stock. Uh, again, I don't even like to go long, but it just kept, kept going up. So it just was like, okay, fuck it. Uh, I still got that red line up there at 839 where I went in. Uh, this is months ago. Uh, but. It's been a while since uh, it's been a stock that you can hold overnight and continue to see some gains in. Uh, nice move up 7% today. Can it follow through? But lately, it just hasn't been able to do that. Uh, it hasn't, you know, always been a, a, a stock that you can, lately anyway, hold overnight and still see some green. AXN earnings tomorrow. Yeah, by the way, we, we just ended... Uh, the third quarter, so now we're in the fourth quarter of the year. We're going to start seeing some earnings announcements. Well, we've already been seeing a lot of them, but uh, we're going to start 
going heavy again at that uh, toward the later part of the year into January. AXN, 16 cent stock. Amex, decent volume for an Amex play, actually. The average volume is a million shares. You know, on the Amex, which uh, is the NY, I think it's like the nysc next or something like that or nasdaq next i don't know which one it is but a relatively illiquid market but that's got decent volume you got some decent volume on that gale g-a-l-e pharmaceutical play pharmaceutical play that's probably going to reverse split not too long from now it's got to get back up there uh or they could end up being delisted here on gale be careful on that one uh, one of our old good friends, Plug, Plug Power, the company that supposedly had a deal with Tesla. All right, Plug Power. Oh, no, with Amazon. Excuse me, Amazon. Amazon. Supposedly they were going to hook up Amazon's, uh, they're like uh, stations or their distribution centers with batteries or some shit like that. All right. Uh, I thought maybe there'd be a nice little Obamacare play like there was last year. I don't remember the tickers, but I do remember the conversations we had around that on some of these Obamacare tickers. But unfortunately, it looks like uh, I guess the deadline or the, the time to to sign up for that has been like cut in half, supposedly. And now they're not even like marketing it anymore. So you won't even see any commercials. They're trying to just make it fail, though. So, you know, that's what they're trying to do on that. You said you're hoping AMD does something? All right, AMD. Yeah, we watched AMD, but I, again, AMD is like, it's like uh, NVIDIA's, you know, what's the, what's the proper word for it? developmentally challenged cousin? You know, that's, that's what AMD is, man. Wait till NVIDIA creates a, a a card that can be used for Bitcoin, man. That's game over for AMD. I think that's really what's only keeping them alive right now is that AMD, you know, they do that some, no, actually, no, those are NVIDIA cards. The little tens, 10, 10, 10.90s and 10.80s and all that. Yeah, I think those are NVIDIA cards. I don't know what AMD's got going on right now. Say so you miss your PlayStation. That's funny. I saw some mock-ups of the new PS5, though. Have you guys been seeing those mock-ups of the new the PS5? No CDs, as I as I predicted. No more CDs, man. That that CD shit is out the window, bro. That CD DVD. No, you're gonna have to be online. You're gonna have to have good internet service, and all your games is gonna come that way, bro. That's why I, I told you guys, Game Pro, Game Pro, what's the ticker for, not, what's, is it Game Pro? What's the places where these EB games are used to be called Funko Land, whatever the fuck they're called now? They're going to have to find another business to be in, man. They're going to have to find another business to be in because ain't nobody going to be going there no more. They're not going to be able to rip off 10 and 12 year olds, giving them like I did. In the early 90s, I gave, man, I still, if I can go back in time, that's like one of the one times I will go back and slap the shit out of myself. I went back, I went to a place called, I think it was Funko Land at the time. And I gave them 22 Nintendo 64 games, including GoldenEye, Mario Kart, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, 1080 Snowboarding, uh, I think it was like NBA in the zone 98. I think it was NBA in the zone 98. Uh, and I came out after all those games, I came out with a bullshit game from Japan called flying dragon. That was the biggest piece of shit game I have ever. I literally cried. I literally cried for maybe three or four days after that. It was horrible. I, I can't believe it's 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 so crazy because like 
seven years later, me and my mom got into an argument about that because I was kind of upset. I was mad about some other things with her about it. But I, I brought it up because I was still legit, like, mad that she let me go in there and trade all them damn games for one game. You know what I'm saying? Because I would never let my daughter make, make some trade like that. You know what I'm saying? Most of you guys in here would never let your kids make some trade like that. You'd be like, fuck no, you ain't giving away the, all these games from that one game. But I know she was just doing that to make me happy. You know what I'm saying? Looking back in hindsight now at my age, now, at 30 years old, I know she was just like, I don't know anything about games. That's the best what he want. Just do what you got to do. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, yeah. He ripped me a new asshole, bro. He ripped me a new asshole. MHLD. Let's get back to these tickers. MHLD. Filling the gap here. Filling the gap here at uh, 825, 830, 865 now. Oh, man. Looks like you've had a, a few good days in the stock here. Look at that. From the 730s, you're up a dollar a share uh, in MHLD. Never heard of this company. Property and casualty reinsurance. Okay, so an insurance play. Going back here, you know, to late August, this is probably the, is that the hurricane? Possibly the hurricane situation. Yeah, that's probably the hurricane. A gap down, but filling the gap real nicely here. Uh, where was that where it took off? Uh, 1045. So you're almost, you know, a li little bit under $2 to go. But I think, again, that that second day or third day was probably where you take the risk to get in. I do see here they also had a dividend. Uh, what was that, two days ago or so? Uh, MHLD, not bad, from the low sevens. Yeah, is Roku still killing it? Beautiful move on Roku, man, from last week. Oh, shit, Roku, what the fuck happened? Damn. I thought the party was just starting on Roku, man. You know? You lose. Damn. You guys were so excited about Roku last week. I was pissed off that nobody mentioned it. Uh, you know, and this, this, this starts like so many of the IPOs we've had this summer. From Blue Apron to what other ones that from Snap earlier. I mean, just... Everybody's so excited. And then after a while, after that, that excitement wears off, which is pretty quickly. I mean, you guys, you remember Blue, Blue Apron? You know, that, that shit on the very next day. You know, look where Blue Apron is now, man. It's a fucking joke. Let's not even get it started in Snap. Snap looks like it's trying to rebound, but Snap was another one, man. A couple days later, you know. A big piece of turd, man. <laughs> Look at that, bro. From $28 a share, you're down 50%. And you know what? You 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 already know that somebody is like, oh, it's going to come back. <laughs> yeah, You know, somebody's holding in the 28s. You already know it. Somebody's holding the 28s. And they're listening to their financial advisor say it's going to come back. But you know what? Look, we've seen weirder things happen. We've seen weirder things happen. So, so we'll see. We'll see, man. All right. PTN. Palatin Technologies up 2.5%. Uh, waiting for the breakout. I'm waiting for you at 78 cents, man. On PTN, that's where I'm wanting to get that alert. Let me see where we at here. Yeah, that, that 70, what's that, 71 cents, excuse me, 71 cents. Let's see if it can really fly. Uh, we're at 68 today. Let's see. PTN, it's holding pretty well, too. He said you sold Snap at 19. Hey, I wish I bought some puts in Snap, man. Shit. I wish I bought some puts in Snap. I could, you know what, man? That's why we, 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 we had that conversation about I don't wish anything bad on this country, but if a, if if Kim Jong un Nugu or whatever the fuck his name is dropped a, a nuke right now, man, and that VIX hit eighty right now, man. 
Ain't gonna be no motherfucking penny stock live, bitch. Shit. Now, I'm, I'm going straight to the Ferrari dealership. You know what I'm saying? I'm going straight there right now. Let me see here. What's... Uh, force protection. Yeah, again, uh, I think it says shout out to, uh, again, uh, Billy Ray, Wolf of Wall Street, man. I'm seeing his message. Yeah, he hit 17,000. Can I save? Can I show this message? This, let me see if I can put this on the screen, man. Because he sent me this. I think he'd be cool if I show it to you real quick, man. Man, this dude's just hitting straight licks, man. But you know what, though? I'll give it to him, though, because his losses are huge, too. But when he hits it big, he hits it big. You know, it's always cool to see uh, him win. But, boy, that was a nice day on this stock. Let me see if I can show you all this real quick, man. Let me show you how he hit this lick. Where is that pick I just saved it at? I don't know, I just saved this shit. There it is. All right, so this is it right here. Let me expand it for you. So this is where he hit HMNY. Hit HMNY for $10,400. HMNY. And then IZEA. For seventeen thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars, so he had a twenty-eight thousand dollar day. A twenty-eight thousand dollar day in uh, HMNY and IZEA. And these are all going short, and of course he 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 did that <clears throat> shorting these stocks again. Huge positions, huge 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 positions. You know, you know, this is a budget for a good promotion. I mean, this guy hit it on, on one day on two stocks. Not bad. Shout out to Billy Ray. Yes, indeed. Said, t oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you already know. He's, he's, he claims those. Those are, that, those are one day. Those are one day. Oh, absolutely, man. Absolutely. You got to you got to keep playing. It's like riding a bike. You just get better with time, man. You know, I want to be a real trader by like 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 most of y'all in here, but I love marketing. I love sales. I love, you know, I love that too much. Yeah, very nice gains. Uh, hey, let me see here. What else? Before we get up out of here, PRTO, PRTO, see somebody, uh, African Emporium's looking at that. I like that chart. You see the filling up the, let me mark that, man. I, I like, let me see where the, where the, the, starts to fill the gap at, right here. 296, we're at 220 now, so looking for it. PRTO, looking for it. I think. Wait for a pullback here, cause it looks like it's kind of it looks kind of hot right now. Uh, looks kind of hot right now. Would have been nice to get that on Friday. Well, that was Friday. It pulled all the way back to two hundred one. Ooh, that would have been a nice, maybe a nice entry there. Now you're at two twenty. Uh, setting up real nicely here. P R T O is the ticker there. P R T O. Yeah, cancer research is always big money, man. Cancer research is always big money. I I, I have a video, my uh, Alma Suds video, you know, where I talk about the hierarchy of news, um, and that how you know, cancer research, uh, government contracts, you know, those one and two, man, those are like you you just just buy it. I don't care what happens, just buy. It. And just ride, man. Government contract, cancer research, you know, good news. I don't care if it's phase one, two, or three. 
just buy and ride. Buy and ride. All right. Rovio IPO Friday. Let me know what's a little bit about Rovio. What is Rovio? Poker Pro. What is Rovio? Again, we've talked about a lot of stocks today. We've gone through a lot of tickers today. Uh, let me see here. Make sure we got at least all the biggest gainers. Uh, right now, already, ECYT, man, it had ran after hours already. Everybody's so excited about ECYT. Already, after hours, $4.50. You're up almost a dollar after hours right now, folks. And we still got damn near, you know, eight, nine hours until uh, the market opens up, man. Shit. It's coming, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, everybody putting their orders in now. You're going to have another one day, you know, run in ECYT. It's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. This is not going to be an XGTI kind of situation where you, you know, you got all these bag holders, uh, or, uh, you know, in there trying to get out because it's got some good news. All right, looks like African Port calling back in again. What's going on, Africa? Hey, brother. Not much. Just real quick, want to get this in because I know you're trying to get out of here. Because uh, y'all, you know, I have this thing with IPOs <laughs> ever mm -hmm. since Snapchat, whatever, and uh, I did really well with that. And then obviously just hit Roku. So Rovio is the people that make the game Angry Birds. Uh, oh. and it actually got a fair valuation, too, because I'm sure you guys know about Angry Birds. It was in pretty much on everybody's phone as an app, and then they kind of went public, and they made a movie. So they built up a great, you know, uh, uh, liquidation valuation base for themselves by their marketing from the game, then with the movie. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a big deal, especially overseas in the Asian market. So people are actually looking for this to do pretty well when it does, you know, IPO out. Uh, and that's what I've been looking at, too, so I know the guys are bringing it up in there. Uh, so yeah. don't keep that on your radars, guys. So I know you guys kind of missed out on the Roku move, and I posted it once again. I am sorry because I didn't get a chance to really alert it like I wanted to, whatever. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're trying to stay on top of these things. A lot of think tanks going in this me, a lot of heads and minds and eyes are going at the market every day trying to find a place for everybody to win off of. But Rovio is one to keep on your playlist. And real quick, also Spotify. Okay. Uh, they just got a deal with Microsoft. All you guys that got Microsoft, Windows 10, whatever, they got, they're getting rid of the, uh, the app, the Groove mu uh, Music Pass. They're going to move that off of Microsoft platform. They're going to bring in Spotify. Oh, that's they huge. A, that's uh, huge because nobody was yeah, fucking with that, that, that Microsoft Groove bull crap. Right, Music Pass. They're they, they going to do it with it this week. They, they so quick with this deal with Spotify, they're going to re uh, remove Music Pass this week. Wow. And they're going to bring in Spotify by the end of the week on Monday. So um, that way they're going to, I think, offer a 60-day uh, trial value for it. Mm -hmm. But they're saying, and that's what that's the one IPO I've sent way into that conversation. That's the IPO I'm waiting on Spotify's next big one, right? Besides my Ramco oil play, my Saudi oil, uh, oil play, but they're giving the Spotify IPO evaluation of sixteen billion. Jeez, Microsoft just got behind them, guys. Let that sink. Let that turn over your head. Microsoft just got behind them too, Man. right? So that's going to be a huge IPO. They're saying that it should, it may reach as high as twenty billion per its IPO debut. But the 15, 16 billion right now is what they call the modest valuation that they're giving them. Yeah. So that stock is going to soar. Everyone knows about Spotify to some value, right? So you vehicle this name, you know, whatever. So these are opportunities. So if you got money to set aside, plan for that IPO, set aside a little $50 here, $20, 100 whatever, and play these IPOs the same way we do earnings. And that's another way to also learn how to invest in the market by seeing what these name brand household IPOs or companies that's out there that can go, you know, that are going public at some point, and they can give you a huge return, like the Roku, Roku just did, and a few others we know. But Spotify definitely waiting on that. I'm sure everybody in my waiting on Uber or Lyft. Lyft is getting close. I think Lyft would go IPO before Uber, mm -hmm. so just keep that in mind. I don't know if you've been paying attention to them for those that are watching. Um, so that's going to be a good play when it does, because people know about Lyft at this point. Obviously, Uber is the bigger name, but however still the market yeah. uh, that they participate in. So just keep them on your radar, guys. Like I said, I won't hold up nobody, but uh, I'll, I'll try to get better at posting them in the Discord room, and maybe we could do like an IPO room. I, I, you know, we can make a room, probably say, if you don't, I oh, will. Oh, absolutely. Just yeah. strictly IPOs. Yeah. And uh, so that gives us timeline of uh, when IPOs are going to drop. So if someone knows one, put it in there. 
so people can go in and say, okay, well, you know, I can take a position here while I wait, whatever. So we're just going to use the Discord to our advantage, guys. That's what it's all about, using this think tank to grow our income and our investment. So that, uh, that's pretty much it there. There it is, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Africa Emporium. Thank you as well, Sam. Yes, indeed, man. Shout out to Africa Emporium for the call as always. I uh, appreciate that very much. Yeah, so really good IPOs coming out uh, to be looking forward to. Uh, as you guys know, uh, again, we got a, a cancer drug that's running right now. We got a few stocks that's running right now. Uh, don't hesitate to play them. Don't hesitate to play them, especially that cancer drug. And I think you really can't go wrong with that one tomorrow. Uh, VSAR is another one. We got a couple other uh, oversold stocks that are running real nicely right now. Tomorrow, I'm looking at crude losing, hang, barely hanging on to 50. I think we're at 50 uh after i think we're at 50 44 after hours right now in crude so hanging by a thread on 50 dollars. if we lose that then i think you're short or at least buy some puts on oil hell you can do it right now if you think it's not going to hold uh so i would look at that as well so with that being said i will be back tomorrow to see where we are see how this cancer thing plays out right now up a dollar after hours really exciting to see where this ends look at FPVD tomorrow if you like OTC stocks that's running a couple other ones running we discussed earlier as well too uh, what's going on Joe let me look at SDRL I think we pulled this up earlier in the day too uh, SDRL yeah it, it had some trouble to that 36 I we, we talked about this earlier uh, but it was able to commit over 36 to 37 today it's got to stay there though it's got to stay there and again if oil prices don't stay very you know stay strong and it loses it. Uh, it's not going to look good for for, for Zedro. All right. Also look at HUSA tomorrow. Uh, after important, didn't mention that the second time, but uh, that's going to be having news coming out tomorrow. He said earlier it's going to have news tomorrow. He said earlier, so look forward to that as well. Uh, A E M D. A E M D. AEMD, damn, lost 37% of its value. What happened? $6 million public offering. So a public offering got it to lose 37% of its value? Damn. All right, I don't know what happened. There's something else going on there, though. Find out what else is going on there. I mean, it loses 37%. So... And hold on, am I looking at the right? Yeah, yeah, that was today. And we're still at 37 on the RSI, and we lost 37%. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. So, we, we probably have some more selling to do there. Probably have some more selling to do there. Yeah, I pass, I pass. Yeah, definitely. I'm watching I pass tomorrow, but. Uh, that's going to be interesting to see iPass, what, what, whatever that was, and if that continues on. Uh, OWCP, Volatility Master OWCP, that's, I'm really interested in that one too as well. Coming from, uh, was that 25 cents, now 42 cents, you know. So now you're looking at possibly reaching 100% of your money already in OWCP with tomorrow's move. Uh, if these gains continue. Who knows how high this can go? It's gone already once from double zero twenty to as high as three dollars a share before. Uh, you know, we got some other marijuana plays that are also running as well. Uh, run, looking at RSII. Nope, no, not not close. Not close. Equifax, yeah, Equifax is really disappointing, man. Equifax is uh, uh what's that ticker on Equifax again? At EFX. If I remember correctly, very very disappointing uh, because all oh, look it's 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 gotten it's done its right thing, but I, you know now we're flagging to the right a little bit. I'm like, come on, come on, come on, come on. You know, I bought the calls; they're still doing well, but you know, I, 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 you know, it, it's it's if it goes higher, then we start to see more liquidity, and now it's starting to get a little bit, you know. 
Uh, I'm not seeing the volume that you know we, we, we I wanted to see in it, so I'm gonna probably have to let it go. Uh, but EFX, and now with news coming out saying you know more people than what they said, this that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. So 117 was was what I was looking for. I might not have the patience to to wait for that because more and more bad news seems to be coming out. And damn near every attorney general in the country wants to sue them. You know, and now it's gone from just that talk to, OK, now they filing. Yeah, so probably gonna let that go. But it was a nice play in the meantime. So as well as Apple, nice play in the meantime going in on that play. Uh, but I let those go last week. But nice move on uh, these oversold large caps. You can make money on those as well. I was I was thinking, man, wouldn't it be cool if a company like Google stepped in and bought Equifax? Although I think these privacy honchos would have would just shit in their pants if that happens. But that would just be so smart for Google to come in. I, I wouldn't mind if Google became a credit bureau. I mean, they already know everything you like anyway. You know, what I mean, you going into Google and writing in questions and I, you know, but I, again, I don't think it'll pass scrutiny. I don't I don't think they would allow it, you know that to happen although i thought i think that would just be a very very smart play for them to go in and buy a company like equifax but they just i i again i don't think the regulators would even allow that you said might try to get some puts on efx yeah i mean you know the only thing is the liquidity is just not not there uh bby if you guys remember bby getting back i wanted to bring this up today because uh, it's back up to what I looked at it last time. Again, this was an oversold situation. We also jumped in and we wanted to get back to 57. It got to 57 the, the last time. Fell off its ass and now it's back to 57 again. Possibly setting up another breakout. Uh, but we, we should have talked about it the second time. Uh, we saw this play. We saw this play. But we didn't we didn't really look at Best Buy for the, for the second move. Uh, but nice, nice move and on Best Buy. It's a two, two opportunities there to play Best Buy. Uh, again, beautiful retail sales numbers that came out, but had some issues during the hurricane with employees doing all that bullshit. Uh, OTTV's bullshit, Daniel Vasquez. It's bullshit, bro. I know you want to see your, your your stock run, but. When it comes to OTTV, man, you don't have anybody to point to but the people who own that company. They are diluting the shares as they say they want it to do well. I don't read the company filings, bro. They're giving it away for crumbs. Uh, ITUS. Yeah, ITUS pulled back. Uh, ITUS pulled back some. But then they squeezed the shit out of you guys, as we talked about last week. Uh squeezed pull back squeezed here he goes here's the what's the five minute move today yeah this is the move today this is the move today itus squeezed and then pulled back a little bit uh towards the end of the day but i think you might have a big drop in this tomorrow all right squeezed well now almost two times now i think you know and again this is a pump by this is an OTC pump, man. This is an OT. No, excuse me, not an OTC pump. It was promoted by an OTC promoter, quote unquote James Connolly, which isn't his real name, but uh, his website is Penny Stock Profit. Penny Stock Profit, and this guy was promoting it when nobody was talking about ITUS, and it just finally caught on. All right, all right. So let me go ahead and. Uh, Get up out of here, folks. Uh, JAGX. I'm not a fan of JAGX. That's why I didn't, I didn't really talk about it, man. But it's it's doing its 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 thing up 19 percent, man. That's you know. Uh, let me go back here and and look at JAGX. Here's the move. Are you the guy who said he's got like 500 thousand shares in the stock? Are you the guy who said that? You got like 500,000 shares in JAGX. I mean, it's oversold. I mean, you know, if you want to play it. 13 million shares traded today. That's big, man. If that volume keeps up, 
you know why not get 30 you know 30 cents 35 cents yeah you can get up in that middle of that candlestick i don't see why not no good luck to you yeah shout out to african poor and putting up those oversold w m i h w m i h w m i h if you remember is uh is the old washington mutual washington mutual insurance holdings if i remember if i think that's correct but i think it's washington mutual they they're the company that basically if you got to go back to the to the to the 2000 Eight situation where they went through if you can see here they went through their little thing and then they came back uh what was that 2013 ish but yeah that's washington mutual washington mutual whatever remaining holdings they have in that thing all right so let me get up out of here folks uh, i'll be back tomorrow i'll be back tomorrow again look out for my ticker FPVD tomorrow. We had a really great day. And uh, this morning's run, which was CIIX, which still, by the way, is looking like a bargain. CIIX. Let me go back to the five minute, uh, actually, no, the daily chart. Oversold play. It was oversold uh, on CIIX. Beautiful play. I put it out on Sunday on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, by the way, if you're not. Uh, free stock picks I put it out on Twitter as well beautiful day brought a lot of volume to the stock today and we you know may still have a little, little bit more to go on on CIIX it's warming up though I think today was the day to really be in it uh, but tomorrow is going to be again FPVD freestockpicks.org is the ticker we're looking for maybe 8 cents 9 cents who knows just trying to do as best as we can on that but I think it's something that uh, over the course of uh, the next couple of weeks, if you can find a way to get in below two, uh, you know, with everything that's going on, law enforcement, what's going on, all the money that they're going to be getting over the next couple of weeks with everything that's going on, the conversation and talk behind law enforcement and the protection of, of people at public events, uh, we can see this, uh, you know, start to be a catalyst for this stock. Please like this video right now. Like this video right now. Uh, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com slash finance. Uh, if you've got $5 a month to spare, I'm asking that everybody who watches this show uh, donate $5 a month to this show uh, by being a Patreon on Patreon.com slash finance. With that being said, I'm out of here, folks. I am out of here, folks. And let me wrap it up here. You guys already know how I do it. All right. Africa Emporium. Life for Business. Hollywood Studios. FPVD said missing volume. That's what we're going to bring in tomorrow. <laughs> Joe Silva. Cali Rob. George M. That's what we're going to bring in tomorrow, man. You'll see. Oh boy, Peach. Triple D Investor. Poker Pro. Lewis Rod. Jeff Thayer. Jose Cornell. C Trader. All my callers. Uh, Mr. Lloyd, I haven't heard from you. I hope everything is well. I'm going to write you an email today. Hopefully everything is all right with Mr. Lloyd. Cool Cats. Yes, indeed, man. Joe Silva, C. Appreciate it, man. Legendary 8's Otis Johnson. How can I find the new IPOs when they're about to come out? Typically, Nasdaq.com. Your broker should already be sending you emails on that. Uh, but if not, there are websites like Benzinga, Market Watch. That will, you know, you can sign up for all those notices. Q Tech, Daniel Vasquez, Andrew Gladness. Appreciate it, sir. Got up to 89 people on here, man. That's what's up, man. Shout out to all the people uh, again coming to this channel to learn. And if you're excited about trading stocks under $10 a share, this is 
the best place to be. No better place than this every single night, Monday through Thursday. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, be back here tomorrow, same time, same place. See you then. Good night.